Hey everybody, what's going on? Glad to have you back. Uh, I know it's been just a little bit since I have done a video, and I know it's been a little bit since I have put out a um, an update on my trailer, uh, my tool trailer. You'll see it there behind me, uh, partially finished on the inside, but I have been using it. Uh, that is one reason I have not put out a video. I've had uh, materials in there for the last couple months, just you know, in and out, in and out, in and out. Uh, you know, I'd empty it out. Put more back emptied out put more back so it's kind of been hard to walk through it a little bit um you know of the evenings because i would run out and go get some a few more materials and put in there so no big deal i uh, have i have uh, the bulk of everything out of the floor it's over at a job site so uh that that'll help me walk through and kind of you know get you a little bit of an update um on how some of my cabinets are going uh, and here's a little disclaimer on that i do not by no means claim to be a cabinet maker at all <laughs> um you know this is this is going to be something that you know i'm just putting together myself um you know i i don't claim to build cabinets but you know they're turned out all right and it'll it it suits me for what it is and um i'm extremely happy with uh, how it's going so far um but you know before I take up too much of your time, I'll, I'll jump right into it. But before we do that, if you don't mind, smash that thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Help out the channel. And I would like to say thank you right now to all of the different subscribers that we've been getting. And I appreciate the comments that's been coming in. So if you don't mind, hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe notification bell. And here we go to the trailer. I'll turn the camera around. Okay, everybody. Look at this. That going to rain leaves are falling it's raining all right so up here in the trailer this is what we got uh, a little bit of a few little materials uh, I need to drop off uh, right here these fold up uh, Keter tables I have two there they uh, they fit perfectly in there slide up to the stop up in there works out great right here you'll see my drawer uh, I noticed people were putting some uh, long drawers down in the uh, bottom of the cabinets. So what I decided to do, I made this. I made this six or uh, 78 inches long, I believe, uh, on the inside. Um, I think it was on the inside. Anyways, I still gotta get me a handle on it so I don't push it all the way up. But it works out it works out really good. Right now, I've just got a bunch of levels in there. I got some cheap levels, some. Uh, and then you know a little bit better name brand levels and stuff in there but uh, you know my sanding pole I'm gonna um, probably put some of my drywall corner tools in there and you know who who knows what else you know maybe uh, paint paint sticks or something I don't know but one cool thing is right here this uh, support that I put in here you can you can just grab a hold of it and pick up on it works out really well I really like that that drawer there slide it back up here pretty close all right uh, this side over here I'm gonna put some drawers in there um, you know probably probably not gonna go the the data route I'm not sure uh, you know because I've already put it up there but you know We'll, we'll figure something out but anyways uh, I gotta put my cabinet top on there might, might do a battery charging station on the wall or up there on that tall cabinet um, but I do need to get it wired for lights and everything which I do have the materials for that over here I have um, a hole for the I have a uh, small rolling scaffold if I ever want to haul that with me I made sure I could have that you can always put some scrap materials in there it will house a six foot step ladder so that works too um so pretty pretty happy about that might put my i noticed ron Polk and some other channels they uh here on this sidewall they've been putting the um squares and speed squares and different things like that on the on the wall so i might might end up doing that you'll notice in some of my other videos that these little containers i found for that um you know they're they're a little junked up right now until i get some drawers built uh, some of my drawers are going to house some of this stuff 
but it works out pretty good pretty happy with it but I, like i said i've just got a few few things in there you know like keep some little extra bits and stuff like that in that and yeah whatever you know small small things of screws and nails electrical tape caulking rags um self threaders some drill bits wood glue can of spray paint a couple cans of spray paint different things so that works out uh, i'm gonna have a top up here and i do have i have all the wood to finish this up sitting here in the garage but just hadn't uh, got it out yet and then back up here so you can see it a little better i have my chop saws here just a cheap cobalt trim saw and then i got a old craftsman uh um sliding compound miter uh works works out good that they they sit right on that table they never move it's great it's so easy you walk up i'm short so you walk up you just grab a hold of it to belly height pick it up walk it out you ain't breaking your back this little lip right here holds it from sliding around but you know the big saw is heavy enough to where it don't slide much anyways and don't drive like an idiot and everything will be fine i'm in the country so i don't really have to worry about a whole lot of traffic so that works out very very well so there's that um i think i have like 37 inches between the two uh it's perfect perfect amount of room i can lean material up and you know strap it if i need to but lean material up it don't really flop around uh you know i have these are 12 foot boards like the longest lumber there is 12 foot and i still have plenty of room to get around it up there here to the side i had some bunch of siding stacked up worked out good but i can still right now with that little bit of lumber sitting there to the side i can still get my table saw in and out of my trailer on back here inside this cabinet i'm gonna have some shelves i've just got a couple of things setting up in there um i have my shop vac sitting in there but i've got it in the garage right now on some stuff i'm working on but i am going to have some shelves in there and on this side as well i am going to have some shelves in here i've just got some extension cords contractor bags and some screws and stuff sitting there um so i will i will have um that taken care of at some point up in the nose I have uh, just a shelf with you know my various battery powered tools and then that little sander um, just various things sitting there uh, I do have some non-slip uh, shelf liner on there I did not glue it down yet because I wanted to see how it was going to do and it seems to be working out pretty well so I probably will glue that down I am thinking about putting another shelf up above that and you'll see in some other videos I have some hangers for the tools and the batteries uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not but we'll see um, but potentially going to have a um, another shelf sitting up there but I do have a little bit of a lip here to where the stuff will not fall off um, my table saw is just a cheap cobalt table saw. Uh, I would like to upgrade to a Dewalt sometime. But right here, it sits there. Completely passive design on the... I have got a, a cleat down in the bottom. And then I have a cleat here. It spins around. Holds it right in place. Works out great. Has not moved. And then I've just got some random junk just sitting here on the floor. This is the worst that I do have it going uh i've actually been using it you know quite a bit like i said um but i just have a handful of things you know i can just grab and go but it's just kind of sitting here old school boom box yeah <laughs> and i'd like to get me a dewalt battery powered uh speaker or, or radio or something there but that'd be nice but bought that at a yard sale uh several years back off a little old lady she's probably 85 years old she used to sit in her uh, kitchen and she had hundreds of cassette tapes and um she her her family had upgraded her uh radio and she was selling this i uh, bought it for five bucks just because i thought it was cool and uh she had a good story behind it and everything and uh it, it gave the little old lady a few bucks to to have in her pocket there and but i i appreciated the, the conversation from her um highly recommend those lights right there uh they are plug-in so you know you do have to have extension cord or whatever 
they are not battery power, but um, they work great. Royal King is where I got them. Um, so I do recommend those. Uh, right here, I put a cleat on the side of this cabinet. Overlook it where I have two four foot ladders sitting there. Uh, the inside the top of that ladder's got a little got a little place in it right here where you can't get down on that cleat but i usually have a six foot ladder on the back side and then the four foot ladder in the front and they'll they will set they'll set perfectly um down on you know in front of each other and everything works out great looks good rides good they don't they don't move around or anything and they'll it'll really stiffen up once i get some shelves inside here but they've been great they don't bounce out or anything i'm very pleased with that and um i do have this is from the factory my clamp holder thought you might like that <laughs> i do need to get me some work out a place to put some of my clamps and everything but uh that's kind of that's kind of what I'm looking at right now. Uh, I know it's I know it's a little jumbled up mess, but it, you know it kind of gives you an idea. I do have back in this little hole. You know, there's a pretty good amount of room there. I'm I think I'm looking at I think there's like 16 inches or so wide. Um, so you know, pretty pretty happy with that. It might just be like 14. I can't remember exactly what I come up with, but anyways, um, and, you know, I know other people aren't building theirs like this uh but this is what worked good for me my time my money uh so i was i was pretty happy with it things are going good um yeah i'll give you one more quick walk through give me some recommendations on some different things that i can hang in different places uh i really really like to use this wall here um to the best of its ability because it is um you know it's right there above your little work table i'm gonna have um so give me some recommendations on that and you know if you got any recommendations on this wall behind my chop saws uh like i said there will be a top from the top of this cabinet to the top of this uh so you know keep that in mind but give me some recommendations what i could put on this wall what i could put on the side of this cabinet here um and like i said all this mess will you know be organized a little better i will have a place for all my finished nails brad nails utility blades and so forth um but yeah just oh um i'd like a recommendation what i could put on this side wall different things obviously any of these walls uh above the door something that something that works good above the door uh if you could if you could give me recommendations there i'd appreciate that um i'll go back out here spin around and give you another quick shot of what we're looking at but uh that is the inside of my tool trailer well, all right everybody uh i appreciate you stopping by checking out the channel checking out the video sorry it took me a little bit of time to get uh get another video put up for the trailer and another video in general uh, i'll try to keep them coming along a little a little more on a regular basis now but uh might do a few tool reviews too because i have several different tools that i didn't see a whole lot of reviews on whenever i initially bought them but i bought them anyways because i really needed them i was just going to wing it a little bit uh so I might do some tour reviews so that way some people can, you know, kind of get a feel for how they work. Um, you know, because, you know, go out to buy a $300 nailer, you kind of might want to see it in action first. But, or at least somebody talking about it. I uh, can't guarantee I'm going to be able to, you know, put it into action, you know, anytime soon uh, in a timely manner. But, you know, I'll, I'll do my best. But anyways, I hope you like the video. Um, you know, I'll do the best I can to get some more content out to you. But before you leave, please, if you don't mind, smash that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. Hit the notification bell up top. 
and then hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate that. I'd like to have some more subscribers around and drop a few comments. I need some comments. We'll talk about things. I'd like some recommendations on the trailer and uh, some different content that you would like to see going forward in the future. Um, so that way we can, you know, try to keep a few things coming that people really like to see. But until then, that's all I have for you. We'll see you then.